Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, I've been sounding the alarm for quite some time, warning that our republic here in the United States of America has been subverted and it is being taken over. And I'm here to say we are now but one step away from complete and utter control. This COVID-19 pandemic has widely opened the door for the American people to embrace new policies such as the Great Reset, which is literally just a new packaged form of the new world order, a technocracy, if you will, leading society. And I'm not the only one who has been warning about this. Many leading people have been warning. And today, I'm going to show you that Laura Ingram is also now sounding the alarm. But before I do, I want to tell you guys, please check out my latest partner. And this is a new partner that I've had, uh, but it is solarwaterheater.com. And I want to show you this thing, but here's what you do. You fill it with water. There's the top. You can kind of see that's really cool there, right? And then you put the cap on, you set it in the sun, and it will literally boil your water within 30 minutes. Uh, also, you can make your tea, your coffee. It's a camper and survivalist dream. Right now, for those of you on my channel, you can get 30% off using the code HAVEN30. So check it out again at solarwaterheater.com. All right, moving on a little bit. Uh, let's start first with what Laura Ingram had to say about this globalist cabal. And what I want you to notice first is this statement at the very bottom, because it's very critical. The global elite are but one step away from taking control. Here's what she has to say. And over the next four years, these Republicans are going to come under enormous media and financial pressure to appease the global elites. And make no mistake about it, the globalists are determined to ram through their agenda. Okay, so the globalists are going to pressure even those in the Republican Party to do their bidding, right? But what exactly is the bidding of these globalist elite and the pressure that they're putting on these GOP members, which by the way, many are unfortunately caving. And when they cave, thus caves our entire republic, our entire capitalist way of thinking. But she expands in that video, and here's what she has to say. If Biden gets into office, get ready for the fight of your life over the next years. At every turn, they will try to subvert your rights and take your prosperity. To start, they're gonna crater your personal finances with insane climate policies. We need a whole economy transition, backing those who are part of the solution and taking capital away from those who are part of the problem. A uh, cap and trade mechanism or some kind of carbon tax. An active carbon market with a carbon price that would continue to step up in level every year. Guaranteed tax increases on energy would devastate the middle class, but they know that. The elites know that. That's their entire point, remember? So what they're literally talking about is these carbon taxes on the American people that they need as if we're not already crippled by, you know, the forceful shutting down of our businesses with this COVID-19 pandemic. Well, now they want to cripple you to usher in this reset of society plan to make us more greener for society and more agenda 2030 kind of policies. But what they don't tell you are these policies are going to break the, the backs of pretty much every American. We're talking completely destroy the middle class here in the United States of America, not to mention if these people have their way, we're going to see policies like they have in other countries uh, where they're literally limiting how much you can use the appliances in your home. Talk about Orwellian control. This is worse than George Orwell's 1984. And here's a little bit about what's going on. And I've talked about this over on restrictedrepublic.com if you're not on there. Uh, at some point, it's going to get too late with all the censorship that's on there. So join Restricted Republic now. It's uh, I've started that with Justice Knight and myself, but check it out. But right now, I've been really talking about over there this great reset plan. And what is a great reset? Well, here we are on Breitbart.com. It says, Virgil says, if you liked the new world order, you're going to love the great reset because the two go hand in hand. And here's 
what it says uh, in the statement there. By now, you may have heard of the Great Reset. It refers to opportunity. That's the eager noun often used by Great Resetters presented by COVID-19. Yes, some think that we should look past the awful tragedy of COVID and see great opportunity with this COVID pandemic. That is the opportunity for a Great Reset, the wholesome engineering of economies and societies. And they mean that we are but one step away. And that one step away could be the simple form of Joe Biden becoming president and then our Senate not our Senate being won by the Democrats. And it's still all hinged on that Georgia seat. Uh, so if you're in Georgia, you want to make sure you're registered to vote there. But I'm kind of um, sidetracking here. The wholesome reengineering of societies and economies with an eye towards combating the virus, but also achieving other goals. What are those other goals? Fighting climate change. We're talking a new Green Deal style society in a little bitty different form, packaged way that's more edible, right, for the American public. Uh, and this is the kind of stuff, but he's, they're not the only ones talking about this, right? We've, we, we're have we hearing it from pretty much a lot of high ups. Here we go, Breitbart.com, John Gary talks of great reset. We're at the dawn of an extremely exciting time, excuse me? Exciting as in subverting capitalism and completely revamping it into socialist communist principles. This is what they're talking about here. Here's another one here. Delling pool on Breitbart.com. Sesame Treat sells out its soul to the Great Reset. Now in this article, here's what it has to say. I'm going to leave it in the description box below. They basically talk about how Sesame Street is going to brainwash little children into this how to accept the new normal of society how do we start accepting these mandates it's for the good of all mankind it's for the good of society that we close down our schools it's for the good of society that we wear masks it's for the good of all that we lock down our businesses even though it's not so happy but they're li literally using little kids shows to ish, it push this in our schools. But that's not all. Here's another article. And this is a good one on the most important mostimportantnews.com. And it's what is the Great Reset? And Michael Schneider really gets into some of the nitty gritty on what the Great Reset is. And basically, I'm going to kind of um, um, shorten it. But basically, if you're New York Times, right? I'm going to show you this uh, New York Times article here, right? New York Times says that the Great Reset is a literal baseless conspiracy theory. <laughs> so if you're New York Times, they're just going to, I'm going to put it bluntly, boldface lie to you as if that's never happened before by the New York Times. Wink, wink, it happens often. But they're telling you that it's just a baseless conspiracy theory, even though we have high ups and 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 actual uh, now Sesame Street talking about it, John Kerry talking about it, and we have here people and leaders talking about it. Not to mention the World Economic Forum, who is spearheading this. Now is the time for the Great Reset. And again, I've talked about this on Restricted Republic. Here's the World Economic Forum, the Great Reset. There's an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate at the same time, managing the direct consequences of the COVID-19 crisis. Let's use the pandemic to change the world. Never let a crisis go to waste, Rahm Emanuel, right? Uh, to improve the state of the world and the neat World Economic Forum is starting the Great Reset Initiative. And then all of you may have seen this. I've already played it on Restricted, Restricted Republic, but here's Justin Trudeau. Take a listen. Building back better means giving support to the most vulnerable while maintaining our momentum on reaching the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the SDGs. Canada is here to listen to help. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. It's always the same words. Inequality, climate change, social justice kind of stuff. To imagine a new world, right? To reset the new world. And here's Bill Gates pushing similar kind of stuff. I'm just, um, now is the time that we have to start addressing the question because we often hear people like Justin Trudeau and even Joe Biden and uh, international people talking about building back better. 
What do they mean when they're talking about building back better? Well, they're talking about that revamping of society, the great reset of our country into communist principles. Now, nobody can tell you exactly to the T what they're planning, but I can tell you, here's what I think. I think that means a cashless society, a society where cash is gone and completely controlled by your globalists. It's a society where we have a globalist cabal of unelected officials, you and I have no say over these people, who can make rules and regulations over countries for the betterment of the globe to save us from climate change to make society a better place by taxing the middle class to death and putting millions of people out of work and bringing our country to a more controllable level like that of European countries or that of third world countries. You see, they want a class of people that they can control while they go have you know, Newsom's four $500 meals indoors with no social distancing and masks while you and I, little peons, are told when we can eat, what we can have, where we can do it, when we can do it, how often we can use our power and our electricity, and how many taxes we have to pay to give to them so they can have their $400 per person meals. This is the kind of society, and excuse me, But so many people are warning and warning and warning and warning and warning. We're here. We are but one step away. And that one step away is, say Joe Biden gets into presidency, say they take over the Senate. Well, then they have, a. I mean, they take the Senate, then they have their pull to implement this monster society here in America. And it really isn't something that you and I want in our country. Anyhow, I wanted to bring you all that information. Again, I've really gotten into detail over on Restricted Republic um, about some of this stuff that is going on. And uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, this is um, the website here that I started with Justice Knight and myself. And we've got some really good articles on there. You can kind of see uh, a few of them here. But there's a 14-day free trial just to try it out. So check it out again at RestrictedRepublic.com. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I love all of you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.